جنة القرآن Islamic Studies Textbook Part 1 I am a Muslim Prepared by شيخ دينا عصام الجزء التاسع The Story of Prophet Ibrahim هنطق الأول الكلمات الصعبة بعد كده هقول القصة بالكامل Worshipped Worshipped Idols Idols Forgotten Forgotten Brought Brought Themselves Themselves Thought Thought Feast Feast Temple Temple Asked Asked Wanted Wanted Or Wanted Wanted Cannot Cannot Blazing Blazing The story of Prophet Ibrahim Many years ago, Ibrahim lived in Canaan. Most of the people he knew worshipped idols and the stars. Ibrahim did not. The people had forgotten the messages that Adam and Nuh brought them. Ibrahim told his father, Azar, he did not think people should worship objects they made themselves. His father was angry and told him not to say anything about the gods again. Ibrahim decided he must show the people that they were wrong. So he thought of a plan. One day, when everyone went to a big feast, Ibrahim went to the temple. He broke all the idols using an axe. He didn't break the big idol. People returned from the feast and found the idols broken. They became very upset. They asked Ibrahim who had done this. Ibrahim told them to ask the big idol that had the axe on it. But people knew that the idol could not talk or do anything. Ibrahim wanted to teach them a lesson. Idols cannot talk or do anything. So how could people worship them? They didn't listen to Ibrahim. They decided to punish him. They made a hot blazing fire and threw Ibrahim into it. Allah ordered the fire to be cool and safe for Ibrahim. The fire did not burn him. People were surprised that the fire did not burn Ibrahim. We learn from this story. Allah can make a hot fire, cold, cool, and safe. Allah has the power to do whatever He wants. Everyday Duas After sneezing, say, all praise is due to Allah. When you hear someone sneezing, say, May Allah have mercy upon you. May Allah have mercy upon you. The one who sneezed should reply back. The one who sneezed should reply back. May Allah guide you and rectify your condition. May Allah guide you and rectify your condition. The story of Prophet Yunus. هنطق الأول الكلمات الصعبة بعد كده هقول القصة بالكامل. Used to. Used to. Used to. Thought. Thought. Commanded. Commanded. Forced. Forced. Jumped. Jumped. Swallowed. Swallowed. Stayed. Stayed, realized, realized, permission, permission, prayed, prayed, sure, sure, surprised, surprised. The story of Prophet Yunus. There was a prophet called Yunus who used to live at a city called Nineveh. Yunus lived with other people. He kept telling them to believe in Allah, but they were refusing. They also did a lot of wrong deeds. But Yunus did not give up and asked them to worship Allah. Yunus warned them, if they do not believe in Allah, Allah will punish them. Yunus thought no one would ever listen to him as he kept telling the people to believe in Allah for a very long time and they did not listen to him. Yunus then decided to leave the city but Allah had not commanded him to leave the city yet. There was a ship that was leaving town. 
So Yunus decided to join with the people in the ship. The ship went to the middle of the sea and a big storm came. Yunus was forced to jump into the sea. When Yunus jumped from the ship, a big whale came and swallowed him. Yunus traveled down to the whale's belly, so he stayed safe by the will of Allah. The whale's belly was very dark inside and Yunus felt lonely. Yunus began to think if he did anything wrong. Yunus realized he should not have left the city without Allah's permission. After realizing his mistake, he prayed to Allah to forgive his bad actions. Yunus prayed, O oh Allah, there is no God apart from you. You are perfect. I am the one who has done wrong. Allah listened to Yunus' prayer. Allah told the whale to throw up Yunus out from his belly onto the shore. Yunus felt sick and tired. Allah made a tree to grow next to him so he can eat a lot of fruits from it and shade from the hot sun. After a little bit, Yunus felt well and strong again. Yunus then decided to go back to his people after realizing the mistake he made. He was surprised to find that the people also realized their mistake. They started to worship Allah. Yunus felt happy and was thankful to Allah. We learn from this story. If Allah tells us something, we should listen to it. He will forgive us and be very happy with us.